Hello, my name's Kenneth Williams, well it's Adam Day really, but I pretend to be Kenneth Williams occasionally and if you're old enough you'll remember me from the Carry On films. Now stop mucking about and have a lovely time in Norwich. Bye bye. Adam, it's a real pleasure to see you here today uh, uh, in Norwich at the Forum yeah. uh, representing uh, the world famous uh, Chroma oh, Pavilion yeah. Seaside Special. I know, it's is wonderful. It, <laughs> it's, uh, I've, seen, I've seen your act here at the Forum and, uh, and obviously in Chroma. It's absolutely fantastic. Is Thank it you. your first season here in Chroma? It is my first season. I've done a few one-nighters at the beautiful little Pavilion Theatre, but uh, never a whole season, so it's a thrill for me. And uh, we've been there about six weeks now. Audiences have been fabulous. They come from all over the country to little Chroma, which is amazing. Thank goodness they do, because it keeps us all in Absolutely. Oh, yeah. You know, you... you, you oh, ha, ha, one of my favourites. Yeah, that's one of my favourites. Uh, every <laughs> Christmas it used to be uh, oh, without fail. Right. Well, it was Christmas part of our show. Christmas, wasn't That's it? That's right, absolutely. You know, uh, and you do it so well. Thank you uh, very um, much. We're of here course, till September the twentieth. So come and see us again, won't you? Yeah. Of course, uh, it, it's it's uh, the variety you offer is, is is a special brand. You know, uh, the kind of variety we all know and love. That's uh, right. and, and, and what's the show uh, in Chroma got to offer? Well, it's, it's got a huge variety, really. There's The dancers are the stars of the show. Their choreography and their actual technique is amazing. You have to see them just for the dancers alone. Are we still running? Are we all right? Yes, of course. And uh, there's a fantastic act called Andante, who are a boy-girl, husband and wife, boy-girl, a uh, musical multi-instrumental act, and they are amazing musicians. And, of course, we have a, a very silly and naughty com comedian called uh, Paul Eastwood. And you must come and see him. And then there's an idiot like me who does impressions and a little <laughs> bit of ventriloquism <laughs> of Orville, <laughs> and Nookie Bear and silly things like and I dress up as Mrs. Brown. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and lovely Dame in the <laughs> there as well, possums. So come and see us and we'll have a super <laughs> evening. We really will. Thank you, darling. You've been absolutely fantastic. My it's pleasure. been a real pleasure talking to you. Uh, and, and I wish the show continued success. That's very sweet of you, thank you. I can only look back, I can only reminisce really, I'm so old I can remember when gay men happy. Puff was a magic dragon. You lot are going to go, what's he talking about? No, but uh, we're not very far from um, Sandringham, Sandringham. And you know who lives there? Well, sometimes lives there. We've had a visit from Prince Charles actually. Good afternoon. I'm actually been going around some of our primary schools, checking up on our primary education. I have to tell you, I'm rather concerned. I was in a primary school last week, standing at the back of the class observing. And the teacher came in, he said, right, we're going to start with spelling. I want you to go around the class, I want you to spell what you had for breakfast, tell me what it was. We'll start with you, Lucy, at the front. Lovely little girl stood up. She said, I had T-O-A-S-T, -A -A toast. He said, well done, Lucy. Simple one, you spelt it correctly. Now, Billy, what about you? What did you have for breakfast? Charming little boy, little smart suit, shiny shoes, hair coat. He said, I had um, C-O-R-N-F-L-A-K-E-S, cornflakes. He said, well done, you spelled them both right. Now, Harry at the back, you're always in trouble. You had a terrible day yesterday. Try and redeem yourself. What did you have for breakfast? This scruffy little urchin stood up at the back. 
filthy, dirty, hair all over the place, scruffy shoes. He said, I had B U G G E R A L L. She just said, I can't believe it. Just for that, you can answer the next question, which is on geography. Where is the Polish border? He said, he's in bed with my mum, that's why I've had no breakfast. 